Have you noticed that things are not getting any better in society, even though all the world's religious and political leaders keep claiming they will, if you just trust them and what they claim is best for you and your family? Now, I'm not going to go and list every crazy and scary thing that's happening in this video because we all live on the same planet. We know what's happening out there. But why is it happening like this? Well, first of all, if you ask such a question, it could be that you've never opened a Bible. Because if you did, you would have seen thousands of years ago. It was predicted to be this way. To the letter. I mean, this is why I wrote the book People Get Ready years ago. The Bible literally outlines with uncanny accuracy everything that's happening in our world right now. Yet, look around, and you'll see that everyone walks around like they're so confused as to what's going on out there. And it's about to get much worse. Notice what the prophet Amos says. In Amos chapter 8, verses 11 and 12, he says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You can know firsthand if this prophecy has been fulfilled in your life as of yet by simply asking yourself, when was the last time you read your Bible? The plagues of Revelation are literally banging on our doorstep, and still, most alive today don't even have a clue as to that prophesied fact, even though they live in a generation jam-packed with prophetic fulfillment. They are literally confused, because as Amos predicted, they all refuse to open their Bibles, wherein the Lord that loves them enough to die for them also wrote a book to help them get ready for the day he plans to return. But they don't open their Bibles. Instead, they trust their pastors, who also don't open their Bibles. And when they do, they do so with a disobedient heart. And so they can't understand the prophecies. And then never let the people sitting in their pews know how the Lord outlined in great detail what's happening in today's society. You know, when those plagues begin to fall, it's going to be too late for billions of people. Because as Amos also said, even though that when the plagues do start and the people literally begin to realize what's finally happening, when they decided to rush about looking for any good news that they can find from the Lord in his word so as to escape the plagues and all that's coming, nothing is given them from heaven to calm their fear because they truly have no love for the God of heaven at all anyway. I mean, they're only running around looking for the words of peace from him so as to calm their fears of impending doom. The fact they ignored the present truth message that we are preaching right now before the plagues begin proves that hands down. I mean, you simply cannot doubt what's happening in today's world, even if you're an atheistic scoffer. I mean, it's just too blunt now. And so thanks to the Pope's long prophesied ecumenical charge that has moved the majority of the people and their pastors to stand in agreement with Satan and their spiritually insane idea that they can ignore God's word, his precious son who died for them, and his remedy for sin so as to believe the Pope who declares they can still gain heaven while enjoying the lusts of the flesh and sin, they will join this Pope to declare in unison what the prophet Jeremiah predicted long ago. They will shout, the harvest is past, the summer is ended and we are not saved. Now, since we know all the prophecies have been fulfilled with 100% accuracy to that which was already written, we also know the last prophecies concerning the plagues, the mark, and the eternal damnation of billions of Christians is also a sure thing because Christians are the ones that are going to be saying they are not saved. Atheists could care less. I mean, you simply cannot believe 99% of the prophecies because you've got proof they were fulfilled and then ignore the final 1% as if they might not come to fruition and still claim to be a Christian. Can't be done. So that being said, I need to ask, what are you doing to prepare for the coming of the Lord? Thank you for watching. God bless.